Annie Sabo and Kevin Lynch with you on a Timberwolves fast break. The Wolves down 21 points at the half. We thought this game was completely over. Not the case. A fighting effort which began in the third quarter. The Wolves able to tie the game and push ahead for the first time in the fourth. Ultimately, the final score, 120 to 118. Yep. A Wolves loss. But you got to appreciate the fight in this group. Well, thank God, after that first half where they gave up 83 points, which is a, a franchise record as far as poor defense, the Wolves set that or you know tied that record here tonight. But something was, ha something was spoken at halftime that was good, and they got started to play with some energy, and uh, that was needed there in that second half. It got really interesting. It's like that 20-point that lead by Oklahoma City got whittled down to like four quickly. Nas Reed did some damage early on in that third quarter, and Minnesota made a game of it. Too bad they came up a little bit short, but uh, the effort was there in the second half. They trailed by 21 at the half, but uh, trailed by as much as 23 in this game to ultimately lose by two. Nas Reid, you mentioned, had a good look to tie the game. The shot just did not fall. He finishes with a career-high 29-point night. However, Shea Gilgis-Alexander had 13 points in that fourth quarter as the Thunder get the victory. Head coach Ryan Saunders sounds off on Nas Reed's final look, which would have sent the game into overtime. Nas is going to, he's going to be good for a long time. And I know he's hurting right now, missing that one, but he had, he had an unbelievable half. Um, you know, he, uh, we were content with the two or the three at that point. You know, we had, you know, options for both. Um, but, you know, going in, into Nas, you know, we thought that was a, a safety, um, you know, because he, he was so effective down there. The Wolves road trip heads to Dallas on Monday. This five-game road trip finally coming to an end. On Wednesday, Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers come to Target Center. Then a trip to Charlotte on tap for Friday. We hope to see you for Wolves Live beginning at 7 o'clock on Monday. And that'll do it for this Timberwolves fast break.